Welcome to the Lee Priest Open. Today's matchup sees the 1997 Mr. Olympia version versus the 98 Olympia version of this man, Lee Priest. Judging by this first pose, this front relaxed position, and this is going to be a darn tough one to judge. Very similar, very similar indeed. Now, of course, the 97 version, it's a definitely a, a better, clearer pitcher. So one could say it is a better version, but really, you have to take that into consideration. And if this was a, a more clear pitcher for the 98, I'm sure we would be able to see those cuts and details. So no real point here delivered to either one of these versions. Both fantastic. The front double bicep, I would almost wager to say the 98 version is a little bit better. The waist seems to be a little, slightly bit tighter, and the skin perhaps thinner. Better cuts in those legs as well. So, I guess a uh, first point delivered to 98, but my soul, they are so close. What a battle between these two. I definitely, I hope there's a a better decision, and I hope I don't have to pick 98 based on this pitcher alone. But if this is the only victory in this, then so be it. But there's plenty of poses to go. And here's one of the classical poses of Lee Priest, or one of his signature poses, rather. Another very tough one. There's something about 97 here that I think it is slightly better. Of course, the skin appeared thinner in the front double B, but... Here in this classical stance, it looks like the skin is thinner in 97. What a tough little matchup. Not a whole, like a big full point here, I don't think. It's just slightly inconclusive, a slight tiny bit of an edge. Now look, the lags, the cuts in the lags appear to be more prominent in 97 this time, whereas they were in 98 last time. What a battle. What a battle. If it comes down to a matchup that tight, I would vote for 97 because look at his shoulder there. He doesn't have a tattoo yet. And in my opinion, I prefer a bodybuilder to have no tattoos. But that's debatable. He has that NASCAR tattoo. He must have got it that year, of course. The front lat spread, even, I would say, 97 looks a little bit better. Not as dominant as a victory in that front double bicep, though, for 98. But I think collectively, 97 might be just leaning just slightly towards in the overall for my final decision in this. Look at the cuts and the lags. Much more prominent in 97. Of course, timing and things like that have to, have to be a factor. Because of one pitcher, the cuts were better in 98. What a tough decision. This is not apples versus oranges. This is not even apples versus apples. These two Macintosh apples and try to pick a winner between the two. What a tough one. And at this point, I'm almost rooting for 1997 to get a victory. So it is a more clear dominant victory rather than just uh, me picking one of the years. But of course, 98 throws a bigger monkey wrench in my plans of, of doing that. I mean, it's obvious 98's the victor here. Look at the size of the chest. He looks harder and grainier as well. This is a tough one. It is Basically, it is up in the air right now. And be my guest in picking a winner in this one. 97, look at the size of his tricep. It is one big, massive, just mutated lobster claw. A little bit smaller in 98, but the striations and feathering... Give it a, a definite edge in this one. Of course, when I look at the midsection, the 97 one is better in that aspect. So really, it is up in the air. The feathering in the tricep of 98, I'm, I'm almost leaning towards that year now. Just based on those that feathering in that tricep looks fantastic. Can't ignore the size of the 98. 7-1, though. And, of course, every time I lean towards a certain year, like after the last pose, I was kind of leaning towards 98, or the Mr. Smithers version, Mr. Burns. But now, this ab and thigh shot, I'm thinking the 97. This is the toughest matchup since the Flex Wheeler 93 
Arnold Classic versus the 93 Mr. Olympia matchup. That was a tight little one, too. But this is as tight as they come, this match here. I have one more pose. Here is the uh, a crab version of the most muscular. Not his best, but it is a decent comparison. And honestly, I am at a loss in which version to advance on in this tournament. Of course, there was the front double bicep victory for 98, which was the most dominant, but collectively 97 look better in more of the poses. So honestly, it could go either way. I'm going to base my decision on this pose right here. This is a rear double bicep. And it is a 97 version. Now, why is this important? There was no back shots for 98. And these two are so similar that either version could justify an advancement in this tournament. But since we have a back shot for 97, let's go on and advance that version. Because it represents Lee Priest much better. So... In the finals, we'll have much more of a, a variety of poses, if this version makes it to the finals, that is. So, the 1997 Lee Priest advances on to the semi-final matchup. The next matchup in these brackets features the 2000 Mr. Olympia Lee Priest versus the 02 Arnold Classic. I look forward to that one. He usually got into tip-top condition for both of these events. So very interesting to see these two versions compared. Hope you guys look forward to it just as much as I do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.